so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 11 which says a short cylinder of radius a and length l carries a frozen in uniform polarization p parallel to its axis find the bound charges and sketch the electric field all right we need to sketch the direction of electric field and we need to find the bound charges so this is problem number 11 on page number 176 so we have a cylinder here and it it has polarization p inside all right so suppose like this positive 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 negative 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 and it is it has radius a and uh, length as l all right so suppose uh, we need to calculate the bound charges first of all so sigma b is p into n cap in the direction of n cap and normal uh, for normal in this case there will be two normals let me just focus and zoom so normal upside the cylinder will be positive n cap and downside will be negative n cap so we, we we have to take both so sigma b is plus minus n cap or plus minus n cap or normal all right so sigma b will be, will be this rho rho b as this is uniform i guess it is given yes it is uniform so for uniform uh, uniform objects or uniform uh, polarization uh, objects carrying uniform polarization uniform means constant or so as you know that it is divergent so uh, rho b will be zero all right these were these will be the bound charges now let us sketch the electric field for different sections for number one l very very greater than a it means that length has become very large and radius is now very small so it will be acting like a uh, dipole Sup suppose this is the axis so only axis will be you will be, you will be seeing the axis only so positive negative negative and one negative here negative 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 so all these all will cancel each other only the le uh, only left uh, we are left will be left with one positive here one negative here, and electric field will be this direction so it will act like a dipole all right now let us talk about sec uh, section number two which is l very very less than a all right so if l very uh, becomes very less than a then only this part this circle will be visible to you this spherical shell all right and polarization is plus negative and it will act like a now it will act like a capacitor you have seen that capacitor so it will act like a capacitor now here will be positive and here will be negative so it will act like a capacitor and electric field will be from this to this and then again from this to this all right so now let us talk about the third part which says if l is approximately equal to a so then it will be uh, like a uh, magnet then it will uh, behave like a magnet north pole and south pole polarization plus 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 minus 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 and yeah in a uh, bar magnet uh, you very well know that uh, from positive signs uh, we have suppose we have a bar magnet here north pole here south pole here from positive signs they attract and negative signs they repel all right so for bar, uh, if l is uh, approximately equal to a then it will act like a bar magnet and it also it is it has also it is also mentioned here bar electrode all right so that will be if that will be a concept when l is approximately equal to a so that's all for this video see you in next video i hope you get that concept let me just give you a clear shot yes so bye bye